But everybody, and I do want to take you back out to this video from a little bit earlier. This is over in the Netherlands. As we are following the breaking news here, the World Court will not throw out genocide charges against Israel for its military offensive in Gaza, but also will not order a ceasefire. Announcing its decision on the eve of International Holocaust Remembrance Day, the International Court of Justice, which you saw in that video, did demand that Israel try to contain death and damage in its military military offensive. That decision comes after South Africa asked the court to order Israel to halt its operations claiming genocide. The decision in the Netherlands by the 17 judges is considered to be an interim one and it could take years for the full case brought by South Africa to be considered. Israel has rejected those genocide allegations and it asked the court to throw out the charges, which as you heard there, the court did refuse to do. We did hear from Prime Minister Netanyahu in a quick minute statement that he did put out just a short time ago. I do want to play that for you here raw and unfiltered on Live Now from Fox. Israel's commitment to international law is unwavering. Equally unwavering is our sacred commitment to continue to defend our country and defend our people. Like every country, Israel has an inherent right to defend itself. The vile attempt to deny Israel this fundamental right is blatant discrimination against the Jewish state, and it was justly rejected. The charge of genocide leveled against Israel is not only false, it's outrageous, and decent people everywhere should reject it. On the eve of the International Holocaust Remembrance Day, I again pledge as Israel's Prime Minister, never again. Israel will continue to defend itself against Hamas, a genocidal terror organization. On October 7th, Hamas perpetrated the most horrific atrocities against the Jewish people since the Holocaust, and it vows to repeat these atrocities again and again and again. Our war is against Hamas terrorists, not against Palestinian civilians. We will continue to facilitate humanitarian assistance and to do our utmost to keep civilians out of harm's way, even as Hamas uses civilians as human shields. We will continue to do what is necessary to defend our country and defend our people. And that was Prime Minister Netanyahu there speaking in Israel this morning right after that decision was announced by the World Court. Again, the United Nations highest court saying they will not throw out those genocide charges against Israel. They will hear the case, but they did stop short of actually calling for a ceasefire and essentially said that Israel needs to do everything it can to stop the loss of life and damage there during its invasion of Gaza. Now in its fourth month and of course starting there with the October 7th attacks by Hamas, a terrorist organization, killing about 1,200, possibly more people over in Israel and taking more than 200 people hostages. Uh, at last check, we know that more than 100 people are still being held captive by Hamas.